Hello there, and welcome back to Starcom Nexus. Hello, Mr. Sentinel. Let's scan this A3 while we're at it. Or we take you out of this mirage. A super Earth. The massive terrestrial planet has similar composition and temperature to our own Earth, but at a much larger scale. Its gravity would squash our landers, our lander into atoms, but we can still learn a lot from orbital observation. Oh, well, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? So today we are going to be trying to get yeah, we are going to try and get some more adamantine. We are going to yeah, well that's it really, isn't it? We're trying to get some more adamantine and continue finding these relics or whatever it was the museum wanted. Uh, okay, so we've got two plants here, one hole there. So we're going to go through. We're going to go through this one first, and then we'll make our way back up. We've also got the potential super weapon that we could put on our ship, although we need to research it first. I imagine it costs a stupid amount of resources as well. So we've got this class F planet. Nothing there. Fair enough. Maybe there'll be something up here. We're down to 34 crew, which is, you know, not bad actually. We'll be fine. Gortani Eviscerator. Don't you dare eviscerate me, sir. Because, because I will eviscerate you. And, oh yep, Class D planet. These generally have something. But I ain't falling for that. Nope. <laughs> it's probably on for... There might be something. There might not be. Sometimes there is, but honestly, I cannot be bothered. Having to dig out again. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, that was the same planet. Sorry. Sorry, my bad. Okay, what have we got? We got... Uh, what's this? Transport ship. Okay. Uh, we've got hostiles down here. Sentinel interceptors and either a trader or. Wouldn't mind the trader so I can see how much adamantine I've got. No anomalies. We will hold off on that because that's going to take us, I reckon, to their home world or wherever it is they're trying to go. Probably trying to colonize somewhere, I'm guessing. Okay, let's scan here. What is that? There's a eviscerator. No, not eviscerator. Yeah, it is, yeah. Alright, gonna take you out. All the rockets can go up here. Take out another one. Oh, why are you shooting me? You're shooting me. Hey, what gives? What's this all about, bro? We do not parlay with heretics who flaunt the commandments and follow Eos's false promises. Okay. Whatever. Whatever you say, bro. Nice. Got a direct here. Alright, let's just take him out. Oh, we got a probe as well. Come on, probe. Yes. Fast planetoid probe. Neat. Alright, launch a few more missiles. Can't hit all of them. Yeah. Nice, it's gone. Oh, they've got reinforcements. What do we get? Gold, titanium, chirolite. Alright, where's the front one here? There we go. Alright, we charge the shields. Oh. Okay. Let's take a take a quick breather. So it appears the Gortanu are no longer our friends. That seems abundantly clear. This is taking out our shields. Oh, he's got a lot of beams. You, sir, have too many beams. All right, let's recharge the shields then before we get back in there. We've got another sentinel something over there. All right. You appear to be just flying off, so I'm actually going to ignore you. Instead, we're going to take this one out. Damn it. Oh, no, wrong button. Okay, this is fine. I'm sure we can take it out. There we go, with just lasers alone. Okay, let's send a survey team down. Some more neutronium and titanium. Always good. 70 research points. Abundant water and blah blah blah. And xenobiologists, seen life probably. Fantastic. Okay. Moving on up. We've got this one over here. Looks like a gas... Yep, gas giant probably, so there's not going to be anything here. Class O. 
Mm -hmm. Interceptor, what do you want? Are you still loitering about? Why did the Gortanu, like, decide to shoot at me? I guess we're enemies now, but that was inevitable. That was inevitable, alright? Sentinel Cutter up here. Hmm. Let's go to the shields for just a moment. Okay. Send a server team to investigate. It's another Lobstrich colony ship. Yes, let's repair the reactor. I'm gonna blow all my Chirolite on you. But, uh, magic is just gonna go this way, right? So let's get an idea of. Oh no, it's sort of tilting up slightly. Yeah. Alright, sort of this way. We'll wait till it sort of uh, picks up some more speed. Uh, hurry up because there's a Sentinel Cutter coming in. So, wouldn't mind if you maybe speed it up just a little bit. Like this way, this way. Kind of is this way. Alright, we're just going to go. Because you're taking too long. So off we go. Apparently it's somewhere up in this direction. Probably down a bit more. So maybe it's just over here or something. I don't know. But this is roughly the same trajectory that it was going in. Close enough. I'm sure long-range scanners can pick up whatever it actually is. Oh, there it is. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Close enough, actually. So I'm guessing that is what that must be where they're all going. Because the ones down here, they were sort of going up this way or something, right? To be, well, we, we kind of just stripped the ones down here, didn't we? The, there were ones here that were going straight across, I think, in this region. That region there, they, that was going straight across, so yes. Probably just up here. Alright, we are closing in now. Let's see how many plants we've got. Okay. Okay, three. Interesting. Alright, we'll start down here. This uh, red one. I often see red ones. What are there for? Oh, what's that? Is that an escape? Yes! Beautiful. So we can get back nice and quickly. Um, oh, G4. Look at this. It's a hellhole. Demon planet. Ugh. It's no good. I don't think we'll find much here. It's astonishing that a ship has survived the extreme conditions of this planet. Even with the team's extreme enviro suits, they can't safely venture more than a few hundred meters from the lander. But the crashed vessel appears to have been here for centuries. The data, the data the team can gather from scans of the advanced craft is substantial, but sadly it's far too hot for the team to enter. Geological scans show that it was attempting to construct a reactor below the surface using the planet's naturally high levels of uranium. In the process, they inadvertently triggered a runaway reaction, turning the entire planet into a nuclear furnace. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that is, that is unfortunate. Lovely, we've got our way out. Okay, what have we got over here? Uh, this looks like a nice planet. A2. Oh, I bet this is their home world or their destination. Maybe this is a colony or something. Three quarters of this planet is covered in temperate biome, and the majority of that is freshwater fords. This environment seems ideally suited for the lobstriches, who have recently arrived here after Space Rust Bucket repaired their disabled ship. The survey team is immediately recognized. Apparently, the ship recorded the team's efforts. They have little to offer. <laughs> Good thing they don't know about the ones that we, you know, we let die. <laughs> um, apparently, the ship recorded the team's efforts. They have little to offer in the way of reward as their colony is just getting off the ground. But they are delighted to share their modest engineering knowledge. 40 research points for, what, 90 Chirolite? I know I repaired at least two. Or was it three? Class L planetoid, nothing. Okay. Well, at least we've got a quick way back, so why don't we... We've got to explore this star, I think? Yes, a blue giant. So let's go down to that blue giant then. So, teleport, teleport. Not quite. Transport our way over here. Still need to find out how much uh, adamantine I've got, but we'll... I don't know, we can hold on to it for now anyway. So, let's see. Oh, hello. In the thick of it now. The Gortanu, oh, they are not happy with me. Yeah, no, well, obviously, we did destroy one of their ships. <laughs> That's a lot of them as well. Yikes. Uh, what are you? You look a trader. Ah, we can find out how much we've got. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey. 
It was a wonderful day when you returned to us. We opened our nest gladly. All right. Things for knowledge. The chasm. Oh, okay. We've got enough platinum. Let's find out what this chasm is. A lone trader told a most peculiar story. While searching for new and fertile grounds for trade, a, ch a chasm, sorry, not chasm, chasm, opened before it. With ceaseless turmoil seethed the sons of war, crystalline ships like sea ice, their pilots driven towards paradise, with flashing eyes cut through your feet like chaff, chaff, chaff. Beware! I don't know what's going on. The trader said it was not yet time. Perhaps he was mad or drunk on blood flowers, but perhaps he heard the voice of the prophecy. I have no idea what that was. Is that about the traders on the planet or is that about the lobstriches? I don't really know. Um, no, that's not what I meant. I meant things for things. You have 11 out of man time. We have... Oh, we have a lot of Chirolite, actually. And we still have a lot of this. Yttrium, Yttrium. So I guess we can sell some of these. Oh, that's not what I had in mind. No, sir. Let's just uh, uh, let's move it up little little by little, maybe a hundred or so. Yeah, this is good. There we go. Uh, that'll do. Execute the trade. Uh, yeah, we'll take all eleven. Thank you very much. One hundred fifty-six. At a man time. I caramba. All right. Uh, we're far enough away from them for the music to be like, eh, hey, I give up. So, let's now go over to this blue giant over here. Ah, so have a look at this. Those are the coordinates that it's given us down here. So we're better off going over here and we'll just... We could go down there, make our way up like that. It's probably the quickest way. But yes, there is something out there. Now I wonder if that's got anything useful. Uh, interesting. There was a comet about, apparently. Cool. You, you're not my enemy? Really? Interesting. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that one. 134 titanium. Oh, nice. All right. Oh, oh, there's the meteor. <gasps> yes, we got it. Orange. The self-illuminating orange color is very bright when you're up close. I assume that's what it says. I do not want to talk to you. You look like you want to chat. I'm not interested. I just want to come down to this sinkhole. Uh, okay, the, the team lander set there. The team sets the lander down at the end of a box canyon filled with crystal clear pools and lush flora. A sinkhole at the bottom of one pool opens into a network of tunnels. All right, well, let's explore. The team member dons his dive suit and does a radio check and descends. All right, he's got. Oh, we have to do it ourselves. Leads off into multiple directions: north, east, and west. We've got 17 minutes of oxygen, so if we go one space, we'll lose 5 minutes of oxygen. And I'm guessing south, so we've got to remember where we've come from. So we've gone north, uh, we'll try east. Mm, try south. No, well, I guess if we go west, it's just going to go back to the center, isn't it? Oh no, east. Alright, alright, let's try, let's try this again. So that goes back to where we started, no? Oh crap, no. Go west. Go south. Okay, return to the surface. So 30 minutes of oxygen. Oh gosh, this is not good. <laughs> I don't think that was the way we wanted to go. So let's go north and let's go the other way. Let's go uh, west. Is that where we went last time? I don't think it is actually. East. Yeah, east. East. South. No. Hmm. Okay, I don't think we want to go upwards then. So let's go back down in the suit. Go east. Let's go south. Cool, yeah. So we've gone east, we're going south again. Alright, we've got a chance to go east or west now. What if we go west and then we go north? We'll be under where we started, right? Oh no, this is going straight down. We're quite far. No, dead end. Alright, we need to go uh, back the way we came. So let's go north. North. Uh, east. They're running low on oxygen. Oh crap, west. Uh, uh, east. Like, wait. He's running low. Return to the surface. Okay, okay, well, I think we've made progress there, hopefully. So let's go west again. Go south. Go south. 
go east, go east again, east one more, go south. Here we go, after what seems like ages of radio silence, she emerges from the sinkhole. They excitedly report discovering the remains of a bipedal creature in an environmental suit. Probably an alien explorer who became lost in the underwater maze and drowned. Oh, that's unfortunate. The unfortunate explorer's re remain, uh, remains have been in the water too long to identify its species, but it was carrying some very interesting gear that yielded valuable data. One device, apparently a communicator, seemed tuned to the standard Starcom survey channel. Very odd. Probably just a coincidence. Yeah, I don't like you. I'm gonna stay away. All right, neat. We got some research points from that. That was a fun little mini game, I guess. Okay, Class D planet. Uh, there is something here as well. All right. I guess this has been worth the trip. Ah, oh, another one of you guys. I imagine these are like the things from Rick and Morty that go club club club. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, no deal. I'm, I'm, I don't care what you guys are selling anymore. Uh, interesting, you come up as a red, red hostile there. On my map, but you're not shooting me. So some of them want to kill me, some of them don't. Very curious state of affairs, that is. Alright, so we got, we made some progress there. We've got there we can go to. What's we got down here? I think we're going to go and explore down there. I want to find out if that is, I have a feeling that is actually the one of the artifacts potentially. And if that's the case, we can then get the other artifact from the station here, I reckon, because they stole something we found from some smugglers, right? No, the Gortanu said we stole the staff of Eos or some nonsense like that. So that's good. Okay, uh, who have we got down here? These are the Gortanu, and now they're friendly with me. It's giving me the option to target them though. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of them. All right, let's keep the shields on in case they change their mind. All right, cool. We're good. Ugh. I hear something. I hear a, I hear a probe. Ugh. Gotcha. <laughs> yes. Good use of the hopper module there. 20 research points. Probe glitch. Alright, whatever. Cool. <laughs> Worth it though. Finally, we, we put that hopper drive to good use. <laughs> I was quite pleased with that. Uh, right, we're going to go... The plan was to go down here. Go s through the wormhole. And what have we got over here? What is that? It appears to be idle. Is that... Oh, Sentinel Cut, but say it's not another station, is it? They're not rebuilding, are they? Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. Okay. Uh, oh, watch the core. Smash into that, we go boom. Hmm. We would indeed go boom. Uh, as usual, I missed this. It wouldn't be a playthrough if I didn't miss that. Okay, so we're a little bit closer now. Just need to make the hop from here to there. Oh, alright, no need for that. No battles are going on at the moment, not until we get up here, I'm sure. Oh, hello. I almost missed this. There's actually a little planet here. Ooh, I wonder what you're all about. Class L planetoid. No anomalies, oh, okay. I get it, you're just there to waste my time and slow me down. Well, congratulations, you got me. Alright, we're closing in. We found a star. Anything else around? Nothing so far, but we're still a little bit... Yeah, here we go. Planet there. There's going to be something around here, I'm sure. We've got three planets. There's probably going to be... Oh, we've got a wormhole. We've got a whole lot more exploring to do, it would seem. So, enough of the transatlantic accent. That's, uh... Well, that wasn't really the, trans the transatlantic accent. Alright, the fake accent that doesn't actually exist. Uh, we'll go here, we'll go there, and then we'll see what there is over here. Unless, of course, this has just given me a sort of general guide. Maybe there's not actually anything here. Class F planet. Nothing. Yeah, it's an icy hellhole, so... A new surprise, really. Yeah, there's something there. 
There's a one planet. Something down here, so I'll have a quick look down here first. See what we find. Ooh, weird. Uh, okay, in the shallow waters of this dying world stands a tree whose size seems to defy the laws of physics. Its uppermost limbs extends nearly three kilometers above the surface. Scans show its strength comes from a complex internal threads that are able to dynamically distribute the weight of one branch to, to other branches, hundreds of meters away. Even after collecting all the data, they can confirm scans. No, sorry, they can from scans. The survey team spends another hour in the giant sh in the giant's shade, taking in its majesty. Well, let's collect a sample. The team carefully extracts a small sample from the core using a flexible cable drill. All right, nice. Second artifact. <gasps> oh, of course. That's it. That's our artifact. This is kind of a weird museum collection. <laughs> yeah. Of course, it was the the bark of a particular tree, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, hang on. Triangular artifact. This is one of those that if you touch it, you get transported, no? The artifact bears a number of obvious similarities to the mysterious triangular object that previously came to of our crew during a planetary survey. This one is larger and missing core elements, but after careful scan, space rust buckets lead engineer determines it's safe to examine. Aha! Aha! Look at this! It's far beyond our current technology, but a number of the design elements show Starcom influence. Cool. The artifact is a fragment of a larger device capable of translating warp distortions in space into local time curves. Cool, 115 titanium, 25 adamantine, and then more research points. Yes! Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Okay, so we've got a wormhole. Where on earth is, does this go? Like, where can this go? We've got two of our museum artifacts. Oh, hello. Ah, yeah. takes me back over here. So there's a little wormhole just there, right at the edge of this. Probably should have explored the whole thing really at some point. Um, okay, okay, that's good. Let's go back to the trading station because I'm sure we've got enough adamantine, right? Yeah, we got we we got there's something that was 135. I forgot what the last piece was. So we're gonna have a quick look at our objectives. Museum artifacts. We've got the hardwood sample, we've got the crystal cluster, the scepter of a Cortano Hierophant. Alright, so that's what we want to try and trade for. If we can get that, we can get that Starcom crystal thingy majiggery. So for goodness sake, I just miss these every damn time. You do nothing. You there is no gravitational pull when I'm going past you. None. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's uh, get back up here. And whoa, always feels like we're going to hit that. All right. All right, we're going to have to take out this cutter, I think. No problem. I'm always bruising through a cruising. Yeah, pretty sure we got him. <laughs> just, just gone, just gone. Like it was nothing. All right, let's uh, we want to go back up here to the trading station. All right, all right, all right. The Zwar Guild outpost. I'm sure, you've got something I want. No, I'm not on about the planetary survey. All right, cool. There we go. Regions again, Starcom. Yeah, no, oh, that seems fair. All right, what have you got? Nothing that I want. Hmm. An orb of strange marking. Seller claims that sometimes glows different colours. Two copper coloured metal discs separated by an invisible force field containing an unknown substance. Translucent scroll. Additional markings. Alright, we'll go for the scroll this time. The diagram appears to be high resolution polar projection maps of a planet, probably class A2 or A3. There is a small cross near the equator. A line connects the cross to ornate markings that the Universal Translator phrases as late something temple found 350 below surface, large cache of what? Will delay excavation until system of other planet is complete. All right. A peculiar artifact, that's the one we want. And we can afford it. 
570 research points. Okay, well, I guess that's what we traded for instead, I guess. Woo, analyzing the visual representation of the object and plotting it into four-dimensional space, I've concluded that this is a Klein bottle, the theoretical three-dimensional analog of a Mobius strip. A real physical module will allow us to study previously, previously unknown areas of physics. That was a lot of adamantine. And we still can't get the radio transmission in our language. I'm gonna tease us with that again. Okay. Okay, well, I guess in that case, we still need to get that staff, and I have a feeling we're going to get it down here. So, let's do that. Let's just go down there. We've still got enough crew, I feel. But the Gortani are going to get kind of unhappy with us, I reckon. Alright, Sentinel Base. Just a regular space station. We've got stars over there. We've got loads of wormholes. Oh, hello. Okay, okay, let's not, let's not sit around. Let's get a, uh, just a regular station, so I think we can handle it. Oh, no, wrong button. Alright, cool. Kill, kill, kill. And... Boom, come on. Nice. This is good, this is good. We're taking them out. Oh, he's slowly taking me out as well. Got some hits? No. Yeah. Good, this is good, this is good. Come on. Finish it. Yes, thank you very much. Scan this giant. Nothing here, as is tradition. So we've got a number of ways we can go. Alright, we've got that planet there, we've got that planet there. Hmm. Hmm. Curious. Very, very curious. I am wondering if maybe we should head back to the station top of the crew because there's a lot of ways to go. We could be going on quite a voyage out here, but first I'm going to explore these planets up and around here. That unscanned planet there. I wonder how many research points we've got as well. It might be worth... Yeah, I think it really might be worth going back because we can probably up the ship quite a bit. And say goodnight to the uh, the space pretzel. And now we'll make it, I don't know, a space phallus. <laughs> or something horrible. Also, we might be able to upgrade that, but, um, research that super weapon. The gigantic laser. Which would be pretty amazing. That the uh, sentinel super stations we're using. Uh, A4, there is something down here on an A4. Have a quick gander. Oh. Hello, you're a Gortano. That is a terrifying sight. Just a random eye. The anomaly signal is tracked down to a network of sea caves. Soon after entering the server team encounters a crab-like creature hiding in the shadows. While sentient, its behavior seems odd. The xenobiologist suspects that it may be ill. Via the universal translator, they are able to strike up a dialogue. I am Polymus, the last keeper of the prophecy. Are you servants of the Inquisitor? Come at last? Mm, the last keeper of the prophecy. Are you servants of the Inquisitor? Uh, what is the prophecy? The voice of the creator. Naked of the past and future, its fragments shall be revealed to the stranger at the proper time. Who is the stranger? We shall know when the, when the universe speaks to us. Know who the inquisitors? The false followers of the silver messengers. They lost the true way when they forgot the old prophecy. They have killed the rest. Now, now it I carry the truth alone. Alright. So, um, hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess that's that. Hermit. <laughs> Alright, I guess we will have to bring something back to you at some point. And that we will find out. So you probably go over here, you probably go somewhere up there or something absurd. Hmm. Hmm. Dude. Hmm. Alright, let's go back to the base and see if anyone wants to talk to us. And we will upgrade the space rust bucket. Okay, so here we return to Kite Station. Who wants to chat? Pillman? No way. Oh, I'm not sure if you knew this, but we were recently pulled through a rift in time space. <laughs> I was like, did, did you know that? Did you know? I mean, I wouldn't know because I'm stuck in here in this lab. That's what I'm trying to say is that I hate you. Anyway, uh, wow, there is all sorts of things we want to talk to Pillman about. All right, let's take a seat, Pillman. 
There's an undersea reactor looking leaking xenon 36. We need some way to neutralize it. Oh, okay, another thing you want me to do, as well as this illness. God damn it. It's pretty nasty. Fortunately, it has a quantum paired isotope that can completely neutralize it. Great, can we synthesize it? Yes, I can, but it decays very rapidly from the time I transfer it to your ship. You'll only have five hours by ship's universal clock to get it to the reactor site. I'll have my lab assistants transfer it to your hold at the last minute before you disembark. Okay, where is it again? Is this the, um, the fire planet that we saw? Um, I'm guessing so. Okay, yeah. Uh, how do these sentinel keys work? Uh, I wish the Commodore would stop calling them keys. They're not keys. Why doesn't anyone listen to me? I'm the scientist. Anyway, someone locked the sentinels. A very difficult encryption system. That system has one way to unlock it. It would take billions of years to try all the keys. Brute force, as it were. Except in this case, the Sentinels would literally be using brute force on you while you were trying. They created a set of algorithms that restricts the search. I don't know why I'm telling you this. You don't understand shit, do you? Is there anything else? <laughs> uh, uh, so when and where do you think we are? As implausible as it may sound to someone with only rudimentary understanding of physics, I think we're in the distant past. We left our home weeks ago, yet Morningstar has apparently been here for hundreds if not thousands of years. Moreover, evidence of her crew seems scattered over time and space. What? Why can't we be in the far future and the Morningstar never travelled in time at all? <sighs> Star gone with humanity have spread across the galaxy in our time, yet here only trace of the elements, trace of human race we've ever seen has been connected with the Morning Star. If we were a hundred thousand years into the future, we should still see traces of our civilization. Our galaxy is littered with our trash. Damn, alright, freaking hating us then. So, another galaxy then. We were thrown into a galaxy million light years away, miraculously the same galaxy as the Morning Star, oh, and one whose particle density coincidentally matches our models of the Milky Way a few billion years ago. Occam's Razor, Commander. You've solved it. You've cracked the code, my friend. Time travel is not so far-fetched as you imagine. The Lee Tyson experiments demonstrated it is possible. So long as you can calculate a waveform that resolves all paradoxes. True, it took a serif cluster working for a year to send a bit back one minute, but the principle is proven. Uh... I'll let you get back to your research. Okay. Where is this cluster? Okay, the talk's ticking. Alright, let's get this isotope before it decays. Okay. Where? Where, 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 where is the isotope going again? Do we not have any... CMB signal sunken ship? Museum artifacts. No, it's none of these key filters. Okay, well, all I do know is that we have to get back to the planet that was kind of on fire. So, what was it? Over here, was it? Up here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it wasn't. It wasn't that. Ah. Uh, where the hell was it? It was over there. Wait, wasn't this it? Right? Right? Was this it? No. No, it wasn't. No, it was not. I am wrong. I am very wrong. Uh, it must have been over here then, right? But it's not that, because that's just the hermit. I'm a little bit confused. Ah, what about over here? Nope. Nope, don't know what you're on about. I don't remember where it was. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and check my video to see what it actually is. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Alright, anyway. Uh, I'm... Oh, Chang wants to short talk. I've detected a distant repetitive signal. Might be a distress beacon. I've transmitted the coordinates to the space rust bucket. Okay, and where's this? Over here. Okay, well, we are going to go and explore there, so I assure you. Well, um. Oh my gosh, wait, how many? 4,000? Ah! 
Wow, okay. Um, so we could go laser weapons. Do we have the option to build those crazy massive ones? Laser weapons, is it like a subset of this? Oh gosh, goodness me. Mm, I feel like this is meant to be it, isn't it? But we can't do it. Damn it. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, so we can make it to the active floor in time. Can we get another isotope? No, nah, that's okay. Okay, I guess we can't research it just yet then. Fine. The big massive uh, giant laser, which would be good. Advanced negotiations. My gosh, I needed that ages ago. What is wrong with me? I'm an idiot. But like I say, what's new? Uh, I think we want to up the armor a little bit. Molecular integrity. The effect of armor. Sure, why not? Anything to improve my longevity. Supreme armor. Uh, I don't think we need to spend 400 on that. Distance manipulation. Sure, it's dirt cheap. Why not? Mm, better reactors. I'm leaning towards that. Increase our reactor storage could be good. Better missiles. I don't know. I guess we could look at doing the lasers, couldn't we? But we're full there. So let's actually go back to research and let's think about... Oh, goodness me. Uh, that's not what I meant at all. Hang on. Down here. Let's go down. Yep, 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 there. Galaxy class is what we're on, right? We're looking for... Oh my gosh, look at all these. This is awesome. Battle cruiser class. You bet. 45 modules. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a lot of fun. So I think I'm going to do a lot of this off camera. They want to up the damage actually as well as my lasers. Oh, that could be... That could be nasty. Oh, that could be real nasty. Increase the speed a little bit. Warp efficiency and all that. Don't think we need to do that. We've done everything we can to the engines pretty much. I could up the missiles a little bit. Like increase the range potentially. Ultra long range missiles could be very useful. But it might be fun to play with some laser technology. We've got the points for it. Increase the damage. Increase the energy they draw. I think if we do do this though, let's really up our... Yeah, up our energy can output as well as maximum energy we can have. I wouldn't mind a second shield generator, but we're coping with the one for now. So I think we'll hold off, just go for the one. But I wouldn't mind testing out these lasers. Maybe we'll get rid of the drone module. As a result, I don't think we necessarily need the drones. Um, yeah, because we can launch all the missiles and then we can use the lasers instead while we recharge the missiles. Sounds like a good idea, actually. So, yeah. All right, we'll do that. Let's go uh, increase the damage. All right, what was that? Increase the damage. What was that then? Increase the amount of energy lasers can draw. Oh, gosh. Increase the max range. I think we'll focus on that. Increase the amount of energy and thus damage. Damn. That's kind of crazy. Lens acceleration. 50% increase to beam recruitment speed. The devil is that? The recruiting, recruiting laser beams? Extend the range a bit more. Laser phase and increase the damage. More damage if we phase them by just the right amount. Oh, okay. I'm guessing that's a bit of a joke. Uh, and sure, we'll look at this. I think we'll hold off on that for now. Nice to keep a thousand in the bag. Uh, anyway, that, I'm going to leave it there for now. And I am going to redo the space rust bucket. And this time it's going to be a space battleship. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.